There you go, family. It's coin time. What have we got this week? Right, first one is we got 2011 ASC. We picked that up this week. That's pretty cool. No, you don't flip it that way, you flip it this way. There you go. It's pretty cool, eh? I always love the ASCs. It's my favourite. And we've got the 2016 Year of the Monkey. And it's silver. Nui. And um, I found uh, 1891 Indian Head this week. And I've got a 1898 Indian Head for this week. Plus, I picked up all these British pennies from um, and these two half pennies that he found in. Um, Middle detecting out on the farm. My friend Mid does, does a little bit of that. One's got a one's got a date and one hasn't. One's real slick, but you can still see it's a half penny. And uh, this one would be you only can just see the date. It's a eighteen ninety eight. That's a that's the two half pennies he gave me. And he gave me these are hard to read because it's a little bit corroded some of them. A nineteen thirty. Half penny. That's with, that, that's with King, King George on the back. And then we've got 1929, which is in really good shape, with King George on the back. And then we've got a, a 19, I think it's a 19, yeah, 1930, with King George. 1936. Which is really, this, which is, you know, they're a nice shape. Yeah, these are a nice shape. King George on the back. That one's got a bit of, a bit of paint or something on the back of it. It's a 1937. That's a nice shape one. King George. And this, I like this one. So 1910, 1910, and I think it's got, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Emperor, Edward, yeah, Edward the Seventh, King Edward the Seventh on it, 1910, it's a cool, it's a cool coin, all these can be, you know, traded or whatever, because I've, I've got some. I just picked these up, you know, a bit of a barter. My mate was it low on stuff, and um, I, I just picked it up off him. So that's a 1936. There's a nice one too. Still a nice one. Maybe in the teens, I suppose. 1908. That's a cool one. Here we go. Queen Victoria. 1876. That's a very beautiful coin. It's still got some great details, and you can still see the ship, and you can still see the lighthouse. That's when they had the lighthouse in the in the picture. This one's a bit of a dented up one. Obviously been hit with a shovel or something like that. 1891. It's obviously been hit by, with a plough or something like that. That's with yeah, Queen Victoria on it. And then I've got, I think it's 1875. Yeah, this is a beautiful shape, this one. 1875, so you can see the lighthouse and the ship. A little bit of corrosion, but this copper does. You just rub it off. That's got the, the the young. That's what is it called? The young heat or whatever it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Got eighteen. Yeah, another eighteen seventy-five. 
It's a bit slicker that one. And the young head on the back. And this one's been hit really hit by the plough. 1877. As you can see through the middle there, it's probably been found in the same field. Probably my mate found the metal detecting out there. He lives on a big farm. He thought we'd just have a go and have a look and he was near where the old house was and he's found all these. 1870, that's she's pretty slick but you know, still see a bit of detail in her. Right, what is this one? Eighteen seventy nine. Get the focus, it's got a bit of a cut through on it. Oh no, it's just a bit of, a bit of gunk. Right, we've got a beautiful, beautiful 1887. She's beautiful. Still a young head, I've only got one old head. Whatever it's that you call it. This is her here, I think, yeah. It's got the different back. She's a bit older, 8098. She's got the different design on the back. I, I, I don't know what it's called, but that's the. It's one penny. It's pretty cool. That's a good shape. 1889. That's a beautiful shape. Still got the green in it. Everything's there. Still, that's the, that's the young head. So that's those. I picked up those. I picked up these off him. He's a bit of a coin collector. So yeah, he just wanted to part with a bit of stuff because he's a bit, bit broken and stuff. So what's this? So 1929 South African quarter penny. So I've got two of those. A quarter penny, that's that's pretty cool, eh? So if what, anyone needs one of those, because I want to keep one for myself, because I haven't got one of these. So if anyone wants a, I don't know if you're able to see it. It's a um, South African quarter penny. It's got two little birds on it. Some flowers on the, on the bottom. I don't know if it'll focus. See two little birds up there. Yeah, so I've got two of those. That's, that's pretty cool. You see, there, there might be a couple of things that I might want in here. And one of these will go out as well, because I only need one of them. It must be a five cent. It's got him on the back, and it's got a, a crane or something on the front with five cents. So if anyone needs one of those, there'll be one going out, because I've got two of them. The same. And this one here I really love because um, it's got a ship on it. It's a little, little bit of white corrosion on it, you can get that off. It's a South African penny. Look at that, that's pretty cool, eh? I'll be going, this is going into my collection, this one. So, yeah, that's cool. So, and and, and I picked up a, a big bag of um, junk, junk silver. But some are really old, but yeah, you can still see the day a little bit. But a lot of us, yeah, I want to learn how to mount them, and so I can make something better out of it. Instead of them, yeah, you can hardly see the date somewhere. But if someone wants to have a look at them, you know, there's um, yeah, we'll pull one out. We'll pull one out. Oh, right, right, look at this. 1919 half crown. No, we'll just pull one out of the bag. I didn't know that's in there. This can you know? What is it? George the Fifth. So yeah. So yeah, so you know, I just picked it up just for you. Know, a few bucks. But if anyone wants to barter or anything like that, I'm more than willing. But this is it, there's a story behind this coin. I bought this off eBay a while back. 
and um, he ended up shipping, shipping it to the wrong person so I wasn't very happy about that because it's going to take months to get it back so he refunded my money which is really good but he ended up getting the coin back and ended up sending it anyway it's my first PCGS slab coin which is an MS60 Morgan so that's my second Morgan but this is my first slab coin so I really dig it and thank you um, to the eBay sellers he, he's, he's a really legit person and he, he didn't have to do that and because he, he, he read a nice um, sorry letter and and said that I didn't have to pay him back that you know the refund he, he'd give me and and um, we'll call it you know call it good and so yeah so I thought that was pretty nice of him and um, I will definitely be buying more of that fella because he is a you know really legit person so I think that's about it for now family but that was a great little video and there's going to be a little, good, little bit of a a giveaway coming up very shortly because I hit 20 followers the other day subscribers I should say so um and, and in, in the as you know uh, I'm giving that away that's the Seated li Liberty that's the um 1874 but it's got the hole through the date and she's out the door it's got, got, it's got a few cut marks through it and so I'm going to give that away Along with that, with that penny planchet, because I've already got one from Alex R, because I, I cherish that anyway, that would be staying in my collection, so I might as well give this one out, because I got this one off, um, it might be, Big Flip, I might have got this one off, I don't, I'm not too sure, oh, oh no, sorry, I got this off the trade me, this one, so I've already got one, so I'm going to give that one away, I'm going to give away the 1926 Wheat cent. We're going to give away a five cent Samoan. It's got a pineapple on it and it's got a little bit of toning in it, so it looks pretty cool. Coin. I seen it the other day. And there's a um, a two cent, two cent New Zealand, which is no that they, they don't um exist anymore. You know, they don't make them. It's no longer now a currency anymore, which is a shame. And I did have a one cent here, which it's, it's obviously fallen into somewhere. But why don't we put in a, um, a new penny? There you go. New penny, and you got a, a 1964 one penny. So, I'll come up with something that you have to guess. In the next video, which will be my um, <clears throat> my review on Brian and Hardy and Conan's um, unsearched dirt, Black Mountains, Arizona. I've got I'm going to pan out. I think it's number number three, and I'm, I'm keeping the number four up on my shelf for years and, because you can't get this anymore, which is a shame because it's a pretty pretty awesome dirt, like I said. So I'm going to look forward to going through that, but. I really, I really like the um, the two Patreon dudes as well. That was pretty cool. So yeah, that'll be it for now, family. So um, until next time, do something good. Pass it forward. Peace.